Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome to the first installment of 500 Drawing Prompts. So I got this book as a present for New Year's and I thought it would be a great idea for a new YouTube series. All right, so for the first prompt, we have Waterfall and Wizard Staff. Once I got my pencil moving, I really began to have all these different ideas coming into my head. I knew I wanted to have a magical forest with a wizard. Instead of showing his whole figure, I decided to just draw his hand and the staff as if he's leading us into the picture. I start to thumbnail right away so I can see the composition. Thumbnailing is really helpful because it organizes all your doodles and thoughts. Now, before I start the final sketch, I like to do one last thumbnail where I emphasize the general shapes that the picture will consist of. And I use a blue colored pencil just so it's easier to read. I usually begin a sketch and then I transfer over onto the finished watercolor paper, but this time I decided to just jump right in and get started. Specifically for my watercolor pieces, I like to use a hard pencil so that when I begin to paint, it doesn't smudge. Once I feel like I have my sketch in a good place, I take my eraser and I clean up any marks that I want to get rid of before I start inking. Now, once I get to the inking part, I start with a really thin line throughout the whole piece. And as I go along, I make some of the lines thicker. I really enjoy doing all different sorts of line work, so I decided to incorporate that into the trees and into the wizard staff as well. I ended up doing way more line work than I thought, <laughs> but eventually I think it paid off because all the little details in the stones and in the trees really came together. Doing line work is one of my favorite things because it's just so therapeutic. I find myself just zoning out and doing a bunch of lines all over the place. <laughs> Here I'm just working on the staff itself and I'm just adding some finishing touches and some lines that I felt it needed. And once that's done, we're gonna proceed to the final painting. Okay, so our line drawing is complete. Now, before I start painting, I wanna have a plan of colors for myself, just in case anything goes wrong, I wanna have it figured out. So I take my moleskin sketchbook and I begin to paint a little color composition. For this illustration, I wanted to have a sunrise in the background overlooking the waterfall, so I wanted to keep the colors very pink and warm and also have that in the undertone of the leaves. It's always a good idea to do a color comp before you go to your finish because you really get to figure out all the colors that you want to use. Taking that extra time is super helpful in the long run. Now the next step, I take my masking fluid and I mask out all the little leaves that I drew so that they stay white when I'm painting. It's really important that you let this dry completely because if you don't, it's gonna be a big, big mess. <laughs> Since I put a pretty thick coat of the masking fluid on, I waited about 10 minutes for it to dry completely before I went in with my watercolor paints. Okay, I'm just gonna speed this up a bit and get right into painting. Once I've got a few layers of paint, I grab my X-Acto knife and I begin to peel off the masking fluid that I've applied earlier. I'm making sure I'm keeping it nice and angled to prevent from tearing the paper. After I made sure that all the masking fluid is off, I go back in with some color to fill in the white spaces. And I make sure that I added some warmth because I feel like that's what it was missing. Since the sun is coming from behind, I added some warmth onto the rocks as well to create a rim lighting. I make some of the yellows darker and some of them lighter to create depth through the leaves. And after, I just take another layer of green 
and I push the leaves forward. So once I make the green darker, that makes the illusion of the leaves coming forward. Now, because I wanted the gemstones to be pretty bright, I actually used some gouache to make them nice and blue. I wanted them to be accents throughout the piece, so I used light blue to resemble the waterfall. My goal was to have all the colors have a relationship with one another. Once I finish with the stones, I take some of that blue and I apply it to the wizard staff for the highlights. I made sure that I mixed a nice opaque consistency so that I can paint in my highlights quickly and easily. And using my brush, I was able to have all the control that I needed. Once that's done, I go in with my watercolors for one more pass and add any touch-ups that I feel necessary. This is definitely my favorite part. And yes, here we are. I'm so happy with the way it came out. I really, really enjoyed doing this prompt. Being constricted to just two words really felt like a true challenge. And I feel like I was able to create something different yet interesting. In the comments down below, let me know what was your favorite part of my process. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you won't be missing out any of the new videos that will be coming out soon. If you're wondering on what I used to make this piece, I'll have that all in the description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye!